Welcome pilots. Today we'll be exploring how to launch the AGM-84D Harpoon Anti-Ship Missile from the F-18 Hornet inside of DCS World. Our mission involves piloting the F-18 Hornet and using its integrated sea radar to locate the Russian cruiser Moskva. Once we find the cruiser, we'll program the Harpoon Missile and launch it using the range and bearing launch mode. Before diving into the mission, let's talk about the AGM-84D Harpoon Missile. It's a turbojet-powered sea-skimming anti-ship missile with over-the-horizon attack capability. The Harpoon uses INS mid-course guidance and then zeroes in on the target using its terminal attack radar. Just before impact, it can be programmed to perform a pop-up maneuver and attack its target from above. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the range and bearing launch mode of the Harpoon. This mode uses an air-to-ground target designation to provide range and bearing information to the weapon. This can be achieved by using the radar, targeting pod, or using a designated waypoint from the HSI. But just note, setting a target designation doesn't direct the harpoon to detonate on the target point, but rather begins searching for a nearby target to engage around that location. Today we're flying over the Marianas map, which can be downloaded for free if you haven't already. If you would like to follow along, the mission is available for download in the pinned comment below. Alright, I think it's time to get into the cockpit and let's take out this Russian cruiser. All right, we're finally in the cockpit. Let's go ahead and set up the harpoons to take out this cruiser. Okay, first things first, master arm goes to arm, air to ground mode, and click on harpoon. Once you click on harpoon, it starts a 25 second alignment. We need the alignment to finish before we can actually launch one of these uh, harpoon missiles. We'll go over the parameters here in just a moment. First things first, we need to make sure that we have a target designation. If you remember, you can have a target designation with the C radar with the targeting pod or with a waypoint itself. Today we're going to be doing it with the C radar. So we'll go ahead and go over to the right screen and take a look at the radar. Okay, we're looking at the radar screen on the right DDI. We need to make it our soy or our sensor of interest. We use that with the sensor control switch right. So now we have a diamond in the top right of the DDI and you can see our TDC right here. Now we need to go into C mode. So we press the top left button here twice to go to C mode and now we're using our radar the radar needs to be operational in emitting in order for this to be working and under the TDC cursor you can actually see a little brick that is a target designation of something in the water and in order to lock that up you do not use the TDC depress you actually use the sensor control switch in either direction where the radar is so since it's on our right side we will click sensor control switch right and you can see right there that we do have a good lock. The bearing of the ship is going 085. So he's almost going due east. And he's going at 13 knots. Now back on the left screen, we're going to put up the TGP. Because we actually want to take a look at this. You don't always have to do this if you know that there is no friendlies in the area. But we don't know that right now. So we need to look in the targeting pod to make sure that this is an enemy or hostile ship. So we'll bring up the FLIR turn on IR we need to make this our soy so we need to go sensor control switch left and we'll zoom in here and as we zoom in you can actually see this is a cargo ship so this is actually a friendly ship and we do not want to fire a harpoon at this friendly ship so coming back over to the right DDI we need to bring our range scale out because we're at 40 miles you can go up to 80 miles and if you go past that it goes back to 5 so we'll go back to 80 this is the target that we just locked up here that was a friendly tanker and we do have another one over here we'll put the TDC cursor over it and this is going to be our hostile so again we use sensor control switch in the direction of the radar screen today it's on the right side so sensor control right to lock it up and you can see this ship is going 13 knots and a bearing of 191 now looking at our HSI you can see that the target is now selected on the top right which means we do have a target designation, so we can actually use the range and bearing launch mode now and set it up in the parameters of the Harpoon missile itself. Now coming back over to our left screen, our targeting pod is locked on to whatever the sea radar is, and this is an enemy cruiser, so we'll go ahead and set up the Harpoons to go ahead and launch at this enemy cruiser. We'll go into our stores page. Harpoon is selected and it's ready, so the alignment is done. 
we need to change the mode to range and bearing launch mode. So we'll click on the top left here and select range and bearing launch mode. Now we're going to have to do this for all four of our harpoons. So always remember that if you're going to use all four of them on this target, and I recommend it on this one target because he's going to have a lot of firepower to take out your harpoons. We'll click on flight. We can either do high, medium, or low. If you click on high, it's 35,000 the harpoon travels at. Medium is 15,000, and low is at 5,000. So today we're going to do low for all of ours to be at 5,000 feet. And if you click on terminal, you can click on pop-up or skim attack. And we're going to do a pop-up attack. The last one is seek, and this is when it reaches our target designation. It's going to turn on the radar before that. If you click on small, it's going to be 5.4 miles. Medium's 10.8 miles, and large is 16.2 miles. So today we're at the medium, so that's 10.8 miles. That is going to be scanning for a target. If you just click on Seek here, you can see it goes through all of the different uh, parameters here. So again, we have range bearing launch mode, low at 5,000 for the harpoon flight. Terminal phase is going to be a pop-up attack, and Seek is going to start seeking about 10.8 miles from the target area. Now again, we have to do this for all four of the harpoons. Okay, now that we got all four of those taken care of, we have range and bearing launch mode, flights at low, and on some of them I have the skim, the terminal phase, and the other ones I have at pop up. So two are going to pop up and two are going to be at the water line. Now you can also set up a harpoon turn point, but we're not going to use that today. If you actually box this, the harpoon will fly to whatever waypoint you had selected and then it will fly to the target area so i'm not going to use that today we're actually going to unbox that so we're not going to use that at all and if you do want to set that up remember you have to do it on each individual harpoon okay we're inbound on this target right now and it does say on the hud and range radar mode harpoon and range and bearing and launch mode we're about 57 miles away from our target designation and we are ready to go so we'll launch all four of these. One, two, three, four. And the code word is bruiser. So we launched four harpoons. So bruiser times four on a cruiser ship. And we're going to go ahead and turn away because we do not want to be near this cruiser. And there goes all four of our harpoon missiles there. So here we are in the tack view and we dropped four harpoons on this cruiser and this cruiser is so deadly that it took out all of our harpoons that we had none remaining. Now if you're going to be going up against a Muskva, I recommend going up with several F-18s and that way when you saturate the target area with harpoons it won't be able to engage all of them at once and at least one or two will be able to get through. Now if you're going up against other ships that don't have any air defenses then all these harpoons should actually hit the target. Thank you all for your support and thank you all for watching today. Hope to see you on a future video. Make sure you join the Discord and also download the mission if you want to try it out yourself.